Hello lovelies, I'm back. This is Kimberly Purpose and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to do another video. I know I'm behind, but I saw this on this particular article uh, from True Warrior Family. I, I love her videos. Y'all might want to check her out on YouTube. She's another fellow YouTuber and I also heard about this on um, today's show incident. Well, <laughs> I'm laughing at this picture, but <laughs> about an uh, incident with them showing a, a, a fake statue of Nefertiti on today's show. I, I found out about it through uh, Lisa Cabrera. Uh, she's another fellow YouTuber. I love their channel as well. And uh, Terrain Rain, I think he did it as well. And uh, that's why I decided that I'd do this video as well on this particular article um this it talks about an incident on today's show i'm pretty sure everybody already heard about it it's uh but uh rolling out magazine did an article about exposing the artists who created this particular status featured on today's show the name of the article is the travel channel wants you to believe queen nefertiti resemble a, a white woman or a caucasian woman so um i just wanted to give my take on it <laughs> i think <sighs> i'm gonna just it will this this whole thing you know pretty much is an example of gray washing that i was talking about how caucasians just take other people's history and culture and pretty much put their face on it and plastered it throughout the media and trying to force and brainwash people into believing that that particular culture, ancient heritage is their own when actuality is not, you know, obviously people of color, you know, you know, Africans, people of color were the ancient Egyptians, blacks, not gray cockazoids. Okay. So, um, Nefertiti is supposed to be a dark skinned woman. And if I'm not mistaken, I thought she was supposed to be attractive. This is a very unattractive Caucasian woman. And it has nothing to do with Nefertiti at all. Okay. So let's start this article. Um, this is ridiculous. You know, th it's like they use the media to try to force us to see this, you know, trying to continue a narrative that's already been proven that, you know, Africans were blacks. You know, they were copper colored people. They were dark. They were brown. Okay. They were not Caucasian. All okay? right. They're not Caucasoids. But anyway, that's, this, this is so frustrating. This is a culture vulture. All right. Prime example, modern day identity theft. Okay. But anyway, you know, on here it says Queen Nefertiti and artist Elizabeth Danes via Expedition Truth uh, press release days.com. And see, Expedition Truth, uh, that's a show that's on, I believe it's on, um, one of those science channel, I think it's Discovery Channel. You know, I used to let my kids watch uh, watch that show, but I'm not gonna let them watch it if he's gonna gray wash history. You know, he's an archaeologist, and he used this artist right here, and I thought this was excellent research right here. They found out that um, this is the artist. She usually do Neanderthal paint uh, paintings and sculptures and stuff like that of cavemen she don't typically do humans and so obviously she drew the character she uh sculpted the uh <laughs> the sculpture to look like her and i just thought that this was excellent research to find out who the artist is it looks just like her that's all she did was put her face on a statue and and then put the adornments on the the headgear and the jewelry and it says that's what Nefertiti. No, Nefertiti did not look like that. Nefertiti looked like Iman. Okay. 
Iman is closer to that area. Um, I think she, it's not that mistaken. I think she's Somalian. And Somalia is uh, Somalia and, e and e e Ethiopia is closer to Egypt, so it make more sense to have a person of color, uh, a, a black woman, an Aborigine, um, I'm just baffled. This is just this. This is depicable. This is this is what we're talking about. Anyway, let me read this article. <laughs> The tribal channel is willing to tell the uh, wor world that Teen King Tut's mother resembled a gray woman. The station will feature their findings on the series Expedition Truth with Josh Grace. Gates. Apparently, Gates and Egyptologist Dr. Aid Aiden Dawson received permission from Egypt's Ministry of Antiques and the Egyptian Museum to remove the protective glass covering of the 3,400 your old mommy. This is horrible. You know, they just let anybody just come in there and just touch all over and put whatever on there. You know, anyway, uh, with the mommy's remains, they decided to create a 3D replica of Queen Nefertiti's image. This, this is not accurate at all. The images was created by paleo artist uh, Elizabeth Days. While on the Today Show's Gates revealed the replica of Queen Nefertiti, which obviously was basically looked like a gray woman, a Caucasian woman. But with the replica, it was placed beside the artist. Days, it seemed Days basically recreated a younger version of herself. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is hilarious. I'm sorry, okay. She ought to be slapped. She should be ashamed of herself. Days was born in the south of France. You know, she's a European. She's not from Africa. She, you know, and has been an artist for nearly 40 years. Yet many believe she missed badly on this attempt. Horribly, yes. She she used to draw Neanderthals, and that's what she needs to stick with. She, you know, eh, Wow. Overall, her version of Nefertiti is basically incorrect. Yes, it is. You, you can't just put a picture of yourself from another continent and say that you're that person from ancient time when you're not even indigenous there. Okay? Indigenous to the Caucasus Mountains. That's where you're from. It made more sense to put your face on one of those um, people from the Caucasus Mountains, not from Egypt. Anyway, Egypt, Egyptians share DNA with the sub-Saharan Africans. Exactly. Who are uh, largely dark-skinned populations according to a study published by Nature Communications. Some of the first modern studies of ancient e Egypt classified the remains as Negroid. Even the arts was created by ancient Egyptians resembled dark-skinned people. The notion that Queen to resemble a gray woman is another attempt to erase and appropriate black history. Exactly. Black Aborigine history. Okay. Black history. Black African history. The indigenous one. The originals. Okay. It's unfortunate that lie will be perp uh, perpetrated on such a large platform. Yes, and this is exactly what we're talking about, how Caucasians are always putting plastering their face on everything that's not theirs. You know, that's how we lost our history here in the Americas, you know, with this uh, propaganda that brainwashing technique and strategy of uh, gray Caucasoids coming in, you know, Caucasians coming in and uh, stealing people's identity and being a culture vulture. Anyway, I would like to ask her too. You know, this this statue, how in the earth can she be a a Caucasoid, a Caucasian, if they can't even stand the sun uh, to this very day? They're burned to a crisp. She wouldn't have been able to survive during that time period. And so this, you know, and I'm very disappointed with this archaeologist for even throwing this statue up on uh, Black History Month. You know. This is how Black History Month. This is a slap in the face, and this is deplorable. And I'm very disappointed. And 
hopefully people uh, will uh josh gates of expedition uh, truth unknown stop watching his show you know if any of y'all i know i used to watch it but now i'm not going to watch and support his show if he's going to pass off fake science you know stuff you know not use scientific research and be accurate in his studies and producing accurate uh pit depictions of what people look like he you know this just looks terrible on his credentials as being an ant, uh, uh, anthropologist or an archaeologist you know because you that's one of the things you know you're supposed to have accurate depiction of what the person looks like you know and if you know that it comes from africa you will have the person looking like an African. I'm not sure if he knew, but I'm pretty sure he looked like he had a big smile on his face. He probably knew the whole time what this ugly statue looked like. You know, first, first of all, she, you know, Nefertiti was not a great Caucasoid. She was black. She was indigenous to Africa. Okay. She was a uh, more copper colored earth tone individual, beautiful, dark color skin, a color of the earth. All right. She was melanated. And second of all, she was not ugly like this. Very unattractive. She, was, If anything, I, I, no, I'm not sure, but they could have gotten a better looking person and a, a better looking melanated person. But yeah, that's my take on it. I just had to do, put my little, you know, what I thought about this. I just wanted to show this is how they stole our identity. And it's in, this is exactly what they did with the Aborigines here in the Americas. You know, um, how, you know, the media had gray watched everything, the arts, the paintings, the statues, and, you know, and to the point where the, you know, you, you know, brainwashed people into thinking that, uh, that Europeans were the first and trying to, and then now they and trying to classify themselves as the true Americans when they're not. Okay. And that's what they're trying to do in Egypt, trying to claim a land that's not theirs. They were not the original over there. Never have, never will be. And that's something that they need to uh, just accept. But it's just, it's just evil to just go around taking people's culture and then pinning as your own, then want to tell the person they've been a culture vulture when it's actually theirs in the first place. You're being the culture vulture. But yeah, this is how, this is modern day identity theft at its finest. You know? And how they uh, culture, uh, take, steal people's identity and culture. And then when we try to uh, uh, go and learn more about our culture and our customs, they tell us, oh, you wrong for that. I want, this is our culture in the first place. You're wrong for going over there. And anyway, I want to know why are they, why is it so many great Caucasians over there studying the, um, the, um, artifacts? It should be more people like us, people of color over there, you know, studying our own history. There needs to be more, um, Somalians. I don't understand why there's no Ethiopians over there studying their own history. And why is there so many Caucasians over there? That's that's another problem. You know, it needs to be more. Uh, and e Egyptology is a joke. It's Egyptology is the science of stealing uh, um, the global Aborigines of the planet, the copper colored races all over the Earth tone people, stealing their identity and putting their name on it, pretty much in Egypt, especially you know in Egypt. That's pretty much the science of how to uh, cover up. The black his, you know, the true identity of the black Africans, and trying to put their na face and name on it. It makes me wonder what else they're doing. They they crooked enough to create a statue like this, and they they need to stop letting these cockazoids go in there examining these um, remains. Cause you know if they're gonna put up this fake narrative, they don't need to be messing with anything. No telling what they're doing with the remains. Made me wonder they. It's, it's total disrespectful for them to keep on uncovering and, and st studying it and putting fake stuff up here. That's what I'm saying. Now, uh, the uh, the Egypt ministry, whoever they are, they, uh, hopefully they probably Arabs who are half breeds up there letting these great cockazoids in there. They need to stop letting them in there studying anything. 
So that's sacred remains. Okay. And yeah. And it's just, it's just really disgusting how they're doing the remains. And then the true people, they hide their identity. You know, so they can have this fake narrative. But no. Nefertiti was never a great Caucasian, a European, ever. She's African, you know, a dark, melanated woman. And she was beautiful. Not like this right here. So that's my take on it, you guys. I was a little um, fresh, you know, ir annoyed, very uh, disgusted at, you know, how they put this up here. You know, and and how they stolen more, trying to steal more of um, our identity as being the first global travelers of this planet, and the, I, we are the original people. You know, blacks are the original people on this planet, so you know we should be recognized for that, and we should not have these um, people stealing our identity. Um, all I can say is we need more of researchers and scientists of our own that looks like us over there. More of us should be flooding uh, dismantling Egyptology and having true science uh, researching our artifacts. As I'm convinced, Egyptology is a European science at stealing ID people's identity and trying to run away with it as their own. Um, if they they don't make me wonder how. No, these I just don't know know what to think, you know, and and, and he'll be an anthropologist if I'm not mistaken, and a scientist Josh Gates, you know, and for them to come in there and just plash their face on stuff that's not theirs, and they're not indigenous people to that area, then they they should be ashamed of themselves, but please like this video and thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Um, I had to get my to my know say what I had to say about this. I know I'm a little late, but <laughs> I just said, "Wow, yeah, this is just shameful." Um, I have a um, I'm sorry, I'm on Facebook. I have a Facebook page. Please like it. I'll, I'm gonna put a link below to that, and I also have a community, a group um, as well on YouTube. No, no, YouTube on Facebook. Um, I also have a um, what else? I'm sorry. I'm also on Black Junction TV. I have a channel there as well. Please subscribe over there too. And I have a Patreon and a PayPal and a GoFundMe. I just started those, so <laughs> yeah. But that's my take on it. I would love to hear what you all think. I want to know, see, know if y'all think this is right. Do you think it's right that they use a Caucasian on here? And um, I know for a fact that, and I, I agree with the um, editor of Rolling Out Magazine, that um, this is not accurate at all. Um, the author of this uh, article is A.R. Sean and was published on February 7th. 2018. This is excellent reporting. I'm glad they call them out on it and it's the truth. It's a picture. And they look just alike. Exactly alike. That's all the artist did was put her face on the statue. <laughs> all right, you guys. Uh, uh, peace, family. <laughs> Be blessed. Bye-bye.